Hi! In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the difference between a subordinating conjunction and a preposition. A subordinating conjunction begins a subordinate clause and links it to the main clause. Subordinate clauses do not make sense on their own. You can remember some of the most useful subordinating conjunctions by using the acronym I saw a wabub. This shows us that if, since, as, when, although, while, after, before, until and because are all examples of subordinating conjunctions. Let's have a look at them in some sentences. When the goat walked over the bridge, the troll roared angrily. Cinderella had to leave the ball before the clock struck midnight. A preposition is a word or a group of words that explains something's position, time or movement within a sentence. For example, on, before, after, in, with. Prepositions usually sit before a noun or noun phrase to show their relationship to another word in the sentence. The train ticket is cheaper after 10am. The swimming pool will be shut until tomorrow morning. Some words such as after, before or until can be used as either a preposition or a conjunction. Their position within the sentence can alter. Before school, Tilly cooked scrambled eggs. Before has been used as a preposition as it's before a noun. The horse ate several carrots before it galloped across the field. Before has been used as a subordinating conjunction here because it starts a subordinating clause. Let's take a look at the first question. How has the word until been used in this sentence? Tick one. Until the ice melts, you should be careful where you are walking. Is it a subordinating conjunction or a preposition? Until is followed by the ice melts. Melts is a verb which shows us that this is a subordinating clause, as subordinating clauses always contain verbs. Therefore, until has been used as a subordinating conjunction. For this next question, you're being asked to tick whether the word after is being used as a subordinating conjunction or a preposition in each of these sentences. After dinner, the alien went on a journey in his hovercraft. The rabbit jumped after the hovercraft crashed. After the alien left the hovercraft, he decided to try and fix it. Pause the video now and press play when you have an answer. How did you get on? Let's check your answers. In the first sentence, after comes before a noun, therefore it is a preposition. In the second and third sentences, after begins a subordinating clause, therefore they are both subordinating conjunctions. Top tip. If the word is being used as a subordinating conjunction, it will have to begin a subordinating clause which contains a verb. Well done if you got that correct. Now it's time for our final question. For each sentence, tick whether the word before is being used as a preposition or a subordinating conjunction. Before her flight, Stacy had some lunch. Stacy went shopping in the airport before she got on the plane. The cabin crew asked anyone who was in business class to board before people in economy. Pause the video now and have a go at answering the question. Do you have an answer? Fantastic! In the first sentence, before was used in front of a noun phrase, her flight. Therefore, it is a preposition. In the second sentence, before starts a subordinating clause. So it is a subordinating conjunction. In the third sentence, before is used before a noun phrase. So it is a preposition. Excellent work. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for some more English support, we've got many more videos like this one available on the Twinkle website.